There's something about going to that frozen tundra as far north as you can basically travel, getting flown into these remote areas and chasing after an animal that covers thousands of miles. Big, vast country, lakes everywhere. Really, the terrain is littered with water. These caribou cross the lake, they'll jump in and swim. They're covering thousands of miles with really no logic to it. They'll be going south one day, turn around and go west, and then turn around and go east, and then come back north. Hunting caribou can be a challenge. You've got to stay in front of them. If you try to chase caribou or chase herds of caribou, the odds are you're never going to get close enough to even think about getting a shot. Right there he is, right there he is on the edge. I'm going to see if I can't sneak on down there, get up on a rock, see if I can't get a shot. You've got to kind of plan ahead, try to think where they're going to be in a day, two days, three days. That way you're in their path. If you're ahead of caribou, you have a chance to set up and you get a chance at a big bull. There's something about hunting animals with big antlers that I just love. Facing mother nature, facing all the challenges that can be thrown at you. And then when you do get a chance, that big bull does step out in front of you. You're able to square up and put him in your crosshairs. Sticking it out, hunting hard, it's really what it's all about. It's what we do this for, to get a chance to spend time in the great outdoors, facing Mother Nature head on and experiencing things and places we've never been before. Caribou hunting in the frozen tundra, let's do it. An animal true to its ferocious nature is savage and untamed, uninhabitable, and unwelcoming place is savage. A relentless, fierce, wild person is savage. Savage. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy, and Field and Stream, where traditions begin. All right, we're in Quebec this week, northern Quebec. Uh, this is a hunt I haven't ever done before, something I'm uh, excited to do. Jamie and I have been talking about this since I met Richard Hume at the Harrisburg Show in Pennsylvania. Well, you know, I have hunted caribou a lot. I've done a lot of uh, caribou hunting in Alaska. Gone up there three different times. I've killed two caribou each time. Uh, been around caribou uh, in northern British Columbia doing mountain caribou. Um, these caribou in Quebec, they look a little bit different and I'm excited to get out there and try it. When we finally got into camp, uh, there was a group of hunters there. They were leaving, we were arriving, and caribou racks everywhere. Now that's a set of double shovels for sure. That's a trophy in any book. Talk about getting excited about your hunt. Game on, we are ready to go. Jamie is chomping at the bit so hard. Uh, you know, it wasn't even really a discussion. I knew the boy wanted to go first. He needed to go first. He had to get that first caribou down. Jamie's up, we're going hunting. He's got the savage, time to get one. Well, we got a beautiful Sunday morning. Should be a good day to see some caribou. Right, Jamie? That's right. <laughs> Let's go. I brought it. There's a nice cow calf, but you can see how fast they move. They come across this rugged ground, they can move very fast. So that's why you either get in front of them or you don't get them at all. 
So if we get a nice bull to come in like that, it's gonna be fun. Finally, first thing in the morning, we get some caribou to come right up to us. Uh, no big bulls, couple small bulls, couple cows, couple calves, but we're seeing a few caribou. And when I, you know, I start to think maybe the movement's coming. Maybe we're going to start to see some big groups. Uh, we come up over this hill, and I see both of them drop down. And of course, I've got to get there with the camera. And this bull's coming. It's going to happen right now. Oh, there he is. All right, all right, we got him coming up the ridge here. He's still coming. All right, 2.30. Here we go. All right. He's still moving. Gosh, he keeps moving. He ain't gonna stop. It's 2.30. I'm gonna take a shot. I'm trying to find him. There you go. All right, we got one. We saw this thing from about a couple thousand yards away. We started closing the distance. And then we thought we'd come across a ridge and he came up on us. So he caught us off guard. And it was a mad dash. I like, whoo yeah. We got one down, baby, one in the books. This was an awesome adventure. Got to get a good shot on him and dropped him there. It was such a relief and excitement all at the same time. All right, well, let's go take a look at him. All right. All right. That is a nice bull. I got the action open here, so we're good. Oh man, that is a nice bull. Got him a little kicker coming off his shovel there. This is unbelievable. He's pretty doggone big, thick. Nice bull. The Leaf River caribou is about 400,000, say, in this population, but it's such a vast land, we just ran into them sparsely here because we hadn't run into the big migration. But this is a nice bull, Jack Hume Adventures. This is a very nice bull. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad Boy Buggies, Bushnell Optics, The Laws of Performance, Hunter Safety System, Spy Point and Most Innovative Trail and Action Cameras, True Glow, Wacom Broadheads, Conquest Sense, Realtree, Family, Friends and the Outdoors. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Fusion Ammunition, tough, accurate, lethal. 10 point crossbows. Thermocell. Nature Blinds. Otis Technologies. And Pete Shoe Dryer. I get asked all the time what trail cams are you using and why? The answer is spy point cameras, and there's lots of reasons why. High quality pictures, great video mode, pictures are always dead center. I always know what deer's in the picture. It's not off of one side or the other side. Batteries last a long time, up to 15,000 pictures on a set of batteries. Spy point cameras, check them out. can't believe how calm it is this morning. Hopefully that means the caribou are moving. I glass all the way across there and I can see the guys 
other guys from camp there. And they were in the spot we were in yesterday, and they got a caribou right there. They're stalking one right now. We just got down here on this little ridge earlier this morning from a mile and a half that way. We saw a couple decent groups of caribou, actually the biggest groups we've seen the whole time we've been here, come through this draw right here. And I don't know, maybe from up north there's some groups that are coming down if, if they're all kind of following the same trails you know as time goes on maybe another group will come through here we're in shooting range where all those were earlier so we're just going to kind of hang out here and see what we see we can see really good here a little bit of water nice pinch point between this lake and here if they'll come through i think they'll be right underneath this ridge should be in pretty good range so it's just a matter of glassing now and there's a couple of caribou way up on that ridge One's a bull, kind of coming this way. They're about to drop into a, a bottom and then come up on this ridge that's in front of us at about a thousand yards, but it looks like they might be coming this way. We have to be patient, just wait a minute, they see what they get to do, because there's so many different options they got right now. But if they come this way, if it slows this been, I might have to get after a bull. <laughs> we'll see what they do. But I know one thing, I'm not gonna chase them that far. I think they're gonna end up in front of us. I'm gonna need to get down this hill just a little bit so that I can get a shot so they don't end up below the ridge on us here. They should be coming right down here in front of us. It looks like they're angling right down here. All right, if they stop, I'm gonna try to get a shot here. He's just got to stop. Okay, here we go. He's just got to stop. Gun's clear. We did, 300 yard shot. I looked back at you when I first spotted that bull and cow coming and I saw that we, you know, we kind of, everybody knew that we saw them. So yeah. I just, we just got into motion. I hope you're not mad we left you behind on that not one. No problem. Ah, well, I mean, he's down right there. You wanna go get him? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's grab my stuff. You wanna grab your pack or it's still up the hill there? All right, we got us a caribou. My gun is clear. Thank you, bud. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's uh, we talked about it. Everybody gets two tags up here when you're hunting with uh, Jack Hume Adventures, and uh, we wanted to take some good caribou meat back with us. So if we had a chance to, you know, shoot a bull that might eat a little bit better, we said we might do that. And uh, this will definitely be my eating bull. Uh, but Jamie killed a beautiful bull yesterday. It was my turn today, and. I'm taking some good meat back and uh, all the guys in camp have been killing caribou. It's going good and we still got two more tags we're going to try to fill. So it doesn't, not, nothing to complain about except bugs. That's right. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, man. That was awesome. Well, caribou hunting at its finest. We are standing there talking about my bull and uh, we're starting to skin, turn around and here, here comes a huge group of caribou, not just a big group of caribou, big bulls. Two big bulls, two big bulls, big bulls. Look, look at the bulls, they're right here, coming right to us. Holy cow, look at this. That one is a giant. I get my rifle, let's make a play on them thing. These are nice bulls. Come on, let's try, let's go. Just gotta eat him some yardage, come on. I just need him to stand still there.
Man, that couldn't have worked out any better. I'm so excited. I got a big bowl here in Quebec and I'm done. Jamie's got one more tag. I might even ask Jamie when he gets here if we can't go see if that bowl went over the hill and maybe stopped. Man, boom. That's a heck of a nice bull. Man. Well, I shot my meat bull earlier, we called it, but that right there is my trophy bull. That's a heck of a bull. Thank you, sir. That is awesome right there. Look at this guy. Man, turn him around a little bit. I got a Quebec caribou hunting here with Jack Hume Adventures, and there's a couple bugs here, but I tell you what, there are caribou and there's lots of caribou. I'll tell you what we're gonna do right now, though. That other bull that was here with him, and man, these bugs are intense. That other bull went over this ridge. You mind if me and Jamie take a peek and see if we can find that bull? Go ahead. I mean, I'm a, Jamie's got one more tag, and that bull, I think, might be bigger than this one. I think so. I, he just went over there. We're just gonna go look and see if we might see him, but man, this is awesome. It does not get any better, and I'm tagged out. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Flex Tone Electronic Predator Calls. Get them close this season. Wheeler Engineering, the most comprehensive line of fine gunsmithing supplies. Evolve Harvest, Throw and Grow, the no-till formula. Grow more groceries per acre. Shoot NC reactive targets. Shoot more, shoot better. Crossbreed holsters, carry concealed, carry comfortably, carry the cross. We take off, we got two bulls down, our guy Jamie stays behind to start working on bull number one, and we're just going to peek over the hill and see if one of those big bulls might have stopped. He did. He's right on the edge of the water. We've got to cover some ground and get there quick. We've got a great opportunity to try to tag out right now. That bull that was with Mike, the one he shot, was a nice bull. We saw him crest that hill, so I don't know, possibility he may be over that hill. I got a tag left. We're going to go find out. There he is on the edge. I'm gonna see if I can't sneak on down there, get a full rock. See if I can't get a shot. I can't believe that worked out the way it did, but I can't wait to go check him out. Well, Jamie's gonna be happy. The bull went down near the edge of the water. We dragged him up here where we could get a better look at him. But what a great bull. This ends our hunt. Mike and I got four nice bulls, good representation of this Leaf River caribou hunting with Jack Coombe Adventures. I tell you why, Richard has got a great job. Logistics worked out unbelievable and plenty of caribou. We wanna thank them for having us up but what a great hunt this was and a nice caribou to end out on. That's how, I mean, it came together perfect. Uh, three bulls down, we're tagged out, and we did it in less than two hours. Uh, you know, the hunt started off a little slow for us, uh, but we stayed after it. We put our miles in, we put our time in. Everybody else in camp was killing caribou, but we were kind of piecing them together. The big numbers just weren't coming through, and then a light switch went off, and we had caribou everywhere, big bulls everywhere, and we got it done. Jack Hume Adventure, special thanks. I'm telling you, this is a very unique hunt. You're in a wilderness setting. We're in a cabin with a heater. We're eating warm cooked, home cooked meals every night. Awesome food. And we had a shower. And we're doing this in the wilderness. Great hunt. I tell you, the logistics that go into this, this is why you come hunt with them. They know what they're doing and they put on a first class hunt. Uh, it, it is just incredible. Give them a call for a great caribou hunt. I know I'm going to come back. I know Jamie wants to come back. We're going to do it again. Thanks for watching Savage Outdoors. We'll see you next week. This segment of Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Evolved Harvest Premium Forage Seed. This is not your row crop seed bought at a co-op. This forage seed doesn't die once it's nipped. Evolved Harvest continues to grow all season long, producing more groceries per acre and ultimately more deer on your land to hunt.
Hey, welcome back to Savage Outdoors. It's almost time for those turkeys to start gobbling and you gotta get your gear ready. When you're out buying calls for this season and getting ready for turkey season, check out Flextone Game Calls. They've come out with some of the best calls and easy to use calls, which are great for me. Uh, the Thunder series of calls, they've basically made them you know, easy for close and mid-range calling so you can stay quiet or get a little bit louder if you need to and be able to control that sound, which is important. The Thunder series from Flextone. And then of course their diaphragm calls, easy to use. I love Love calling on my Flextone diaphragms. You know, one of my favorites is the Mob Boss. Get ready for turkey season, Flextone game calls. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy. Field and stream, where traditions begin. Bad boy buggies. Bushnell Optics, the laws of performance. Hunter Safety System. Spy point and most innovative trail and action camera. True glow. 10 point crossbows. Conquest sense. Whackham broadheads. Elite archery, the world's most shootable bow. Can cooker. Field and stream. Fusion ammunition. Tough, accurate, lethal. Thermocell. Nature Blinds and Peach Shoe Dryer 